Hi there, and thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be looking at lesson 6.3, which is called the percent proportion. And today we're going to be looking for eight things to write down in our notes. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to talk to you about is what the percent proportion looks like. Um, the next page we're going to write down, so this page I just want you to kind of watch. So you can represent the word problem A is P percent of W with the proportion A over W is equal to P out of 100. A is always going to be considered the part, W will be considered the whole, P will be considered the percent because percents are always out of 100. So if you were going to try to write 3 out of 4 is 75 percent, you would write 3 over 4 is equal to 75 over 100, where 3 is the part, 4 is the whole, and 75 is the percent, so you'd write 75 over 100. An easier way to remember this is this proportion right here. So you are going to copy everything that's on this page. Instead of saying A, W, and P, we're going to say is of and P. So is is still going to represent the part. Of will still represent the whole. P will represent the percent. And will always you will always keep the 100 in the bottom right hand corner because percents are out of 100. So what you're going to do now is just go ahead and pause the video right now to write down number one in your notes. Make sure that you label each part. Once you're done, go ahead and click play. So this first one you're going to write down and try with me. Um, it says answer the question using common knowledge, then prove your answer with the percent proportion. So we already know that 50% of 30 is whatever half of 30 is, which is 15. But how would we show this with the percent proportion? I'm starting you off with an easier one so that you can see how the percent proportion works. The first thing you're always going to do is put 100 here at the bottom. And then you start to fill in the information you know. I can already tell that 50% will go above 50 because that's the percent. And then all I have to think about now is this 30. 30 is either going to be the part or the whole. And it says, what number is 50% of 30? Normally, the number right after of is the of number. So 30 would go on the bottom, which means we don't know the part yet. So we'd put an X for the part. And then we would start to solve using the same steps we did back in Chapter 5 whenever we learned how to solve proportions. We'll do 30 times 50 and 100 times x. Because remember, any time if something is proportional, we can cross multiply and get the same number. So that's essentially what we're trying to do here. What can we cross multiply to make sure that we get the same number? 30 times 50 is 1,500, and 100 times x is 100x. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 100. x will be equal to 15. Okay? So if you haven't had a chance to write this down, make sure that you have paused the video and write down number 2 in your notes. Once you're done, click play, and you're going to try the rest of them on your own. So here's number three. You're going to find the percent, what percent of 15 is 12? I'll give you a hint. Of is 15 and is is 12. So go ahead and pause the video. You obviously don't know what the percent is, so the percent will have an X. So then you're going to be solving for the percent. So go ahead and click play once ever, whenever you have it figured out. All right, here we go. So what percent of 15 is 12? The one thing I know for sure is I don't see a percent symbol up here. That I'm not given the percent, so I'm just going to go and put an X. And then it says, what percent of 15 is 12? Of, because 15 follows of, that's going to be the of, and 12 will be the is. Okay, and then I'm going to cross multiply 12 times 100 and 15 times X. 12 times 100 is 1,200, and 15 times x is 15x. And then all I have to do now is just divide 1,200 by 15, and I get x is equal to 80. So that means 80% of 15 is 12. Okay, how did you do? Let's try another one. We need to try all these just because we're getting, we need to get used to using is, of, and p per percent. Go ahead and pause the video, set up your proportion first, and then solve it. All right, here we go. So what number is 36% of 50? I know 36 will go over 100 because it's the percent. 
50, it says of 50, so that means out of 50. Out of 50, so that means 50 will be the whole, which means I don't know the part. I'm going to cross multiply 100 times x and 50 times 36. 100 times x is 100x and 50 times 36 is 1800. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 100. X is equal to 18. Okay, how'd you do? And here's number five. Go ahead and pause, try it on your own, and then click play. All right, here we go. So we know 150% will always go over the 100. Yes, we know it's more than 100, so that means something might be a little bit different here. So 150% of what number is 24? Is is 24 because it's following right of it, and we don't have the of. So is will go, will be the 24, so 24 should go on top, and then x will go on the bottom. I'm going to cross multiply 150 times x and 24 times 100, 2400. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 150. X will be equal to 16. So 150% of 16 is 24. These two you're going to try on your own. So again, let's go ahead and pause. Try both of them. And then once you're done, click play. All right, here we go. So what percent of 5 is 3? Again, we don't know the percent, so I'm just going to go ahead and write it and put a, an X over the 100. And then it says, what percent of 5? So out of 5 is 3. So 5 is the of and 3 is the is. I'm going to cross multiply. I get 5X is equal to 300. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 5 so that X is equal to 60. Okay. Number 7, 25 is what percent of 20? Again, I don't see the percent sign, so I know that percent is missing. It says 25 is what percent of 20? Out of 20. So 20 will go on the bottom for of, and 25 will be the is. Cross multiply, you get 20x and 2500. So I'm going to basically take 2500 and divide it by 20. So that x is equal 125. So my answer, 25 is 125 percent of 20. The last one is a word problem. Again, you're going to pause it, write your proportion, and then solve, and then click play to check. It says an average of 1,253 tornadoes occur in the United States each year, and about 12 percent 12.5% of them are in Texas. About how many tornadoes does Texas have each year? So using the percent proportion, I can automatically put the 12.5% over 100. It says an average of 1,253 tornadoes occur in the United States each year, and about 12.5% of them are in Texas. So we know that this is all of the tornadoes that happen in the United States, and only a part of them happen in Texas. Since all the number, all of the tornadoes are 1,253, I'm going to put 1,253 on the bottom, and then X will be the representation of the tornadoes that happen in Texas. Cross multiplying, I'm going to get 100 times X, and then 1,253 times 12.5, I got 15,662.5. I'm going to divide both sides by 100. <clears throat> so I get 156.625, so we can say about, let's maybe just round that up to 157, so about 157 tornadoes in Texas, okay? You can't have a point of a tornado, it's either all or nothing there. Um, that's going to conclude our notes for today, so just make sure that you have your eight things written down, you have your percent proportion memorized, and go ahead and check the board to see what we're up to next.